Hello everybody, good morning, happy weekend, Saturday. So it's time for Talk O'Clock, the series, show, blog, whatever of the week where I kind of, um, well, review what I did, talk a bit about my week and uh, stuff like that. So before I get started on the artwork though, this is actually not me you're looking at. At least not the present me, it's the past me, because I pre-shot uh, this video because I am actually currently on the road. Uh, I took some time off, very impromptu, going to the eastern part of Germany for a bit of relaxation, um, inspiring times out and about um, for some photography and art and um, well, just having a good time and relaxing, calming down before Spiel starts, uh, which is going to be super, super busy and hectic for me. So I just um, took some time off. And uh, to do that, of course, I had to work a lot, a lot, a lot this week so that everything's covered and scheduled for you guys to look at while I'm, well, traveling. So. The funny game, I don't know if you uh, remember that maybe from your childhood, is uh, I'm gonna pack my suitcase and what am I gonna take, you know? So I played that game yesterday, um, uh, packing art supplies and photo supplies and stuff like that to take with me. And the hardest part is it almost feels like shopping in my own studios, like what am I gonna take this time? Because I hate to take the same supplies over and over again. so I try to kind of switch it up a bit, but there's essentials that I always packed. Now this time I'm not packing only for me, but also for a friend who I'm traveling with and uh, who likes to do artwork as well. So in case she is inspired, I want to have enough supplies for the both of us so we could work simultaneously on things and not uh, wait for hours till the other one has finished uh, her stuff to use the pencil, you know? Uh, so, I, since, since we're traveling by car, we're not that much limited weight-wise or size-wise as I would be on a plane. You remember my trip to Malta, the bag was one bag only, and uh, I had to really reduce what I'm gonna take with me on the weight and also on, uh, well, just the size of things. So for this trip I packed uh, one and a half bags. Uh, the second bag is shared with some of my photography stuff like uh, external flash and whatnot, things that I don't have in my photo backpack, that I have stuff with different kinds of lenses and uh, the camera itself and just the gist, you know. So I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of what I'm going to take with me and I very much hope that I will be inspired enough and have uh, quite some time to do some artwork to show you next week in the talk o'clock. Of course there won't be videos for it because I'm just taking photo equipment, not video equipment with me. Uh, but I, but I at least I hope I can show you a few things. So what I'm going to take uh, first of all is a big, big notepad. It's actually uh, 11 dot seven by 16 dot five inches um, for uh, anything with uh, pastels, charcoal, um, pencil, graphite, all that kind of things uh, taking the whole pad. I don't want to cut down the paper. Um, so I, I'm just taking the pad pretty much as it is. Um, then I'm taking a watercolor block and that is 9.4 by 12.6 inches and this is um, This has this gum kind of thing on all four sides. So I need to have exacto knives with me to remove the paper um, To get to the next sheet there and uh, then I'm having This kind of pack here. I always pack it like that with the tiny uh, watercolor um, sheets that are 3.2 by 4.1 inches, a few cut down like A5 probably, roughly, A5 uh, watercolor paper sheets, some paper towels, some uh, of these uh, acrylic sheets there to tape the paper to uh, some 
watercolor pencils just to uh, sketch out things before painting. And then I'm taking, of course, watercolors and these fit nicely into my bag actually, though they're quite the big box. I'm taking the Kuretakes and um, then my beloved Rembrandt soft pastels. Uh, so main media will be watercolors, pastels and uh, charcoal this time round. I'm also taking the smaller uh, watercolor um, set that I do have because these are way more the earthy tones, the real tones in comparison to the Koritakas that are way more bright and almost uh, too saturated for you paintings that are really nature style. And also this has a mixing palette, so taking the small one with me. Um, then the essentials, pencil sharpener and uh, eraser, the charcoals. Yeah, you don't know how big that bag is, right? <laughs> oh, wow. um, painter's tape, also essential when you go and uh, don't have the um, the paper on the block held down, but you got uh, single sheets like I'm taking them with me. And this is the bag actually. It's quite sizable, but uh, it's originally originally it was uh, a laptop bag, so you can kind of imagine how how big that is. Um, then I'm taking in the other bag. If you have black charcoal, you need to have white chalk, of course, to um, have uh, highlights. And I'm not just taking one stick only, I could, but I think it would um, crumble in the back when transporting and then I have the chalk all over the place, so I'm just simply just taking the box. Same here with the charcoals, there's like 10 or 12 sticks in there. I probably need only one or two, but it's way cleaner to uh, transport them like that. So I was saying exacto knives, so essential when uh, it comes to traveling. And then I'm just taking these three smaller bags with me that are filled with uh, water brushes. Um, I'm not taking real brushes, but these ones that have the water tank in the back, because it's just way simpler to travel with those. And uh, for that I'm taking distilled water and um, I can fill them with this tiny pipette squeezy thingy. So taking three of those and another sharpener, one for um, the bigger pencils. Gosh, get in there. So that's bag number one. Bag number two is all different kinds of um, student grade uh, colored pencils and charcoal pens. So I just grab them all, put them in there. And uh, bag number uh, three has um, all different kinds of line markers, uh, gel pens of different kinds of colors, um, masking fluid for uh, watercolors and some gouache for the white highlights when it comes to watercolors. Also there's normal, normal graphite pencil in there so I can sketch out things. And uh, then there's one thing that I always take with me, <clears throat> not necessarily for doing artwork but just for calming down, especially I do that pretty much every night. And uh, this is a uh, then doodle book, a coloring book for adults. So you've seen uh, already colored quite a few of the pages. So I'm currently working on this one, taking that with me and for that my Faber Castell Pit Artist brush pens uh, of all different kinds of colors and they're lovely sorted in a box. I can put that just into the photo bag and everything's good and great. So that is pretty much what I take with me when I don't have a limitation when it comes to the size of um, my art bag or the weight of it. Actually, when traveling by plane, it's more the weight, not so much the size, because I usually don't have it in my hand luggage. So, but in my suitcase, in a 
a separate section together with board games and that stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to do some artwork uh, in an area that I haven't been to in a long, long time. And uh, just to get some inspiration, just seeing different things and doing artwork there um, on this, yeah, well, very, very impromptu retreat, pretty much. So let me just get the table cleaned up a tiny bit so I have space for you to, or for showing you um, what I did this week, what I published, um, or and what I did do besides the videos and blah. You know what I mean, right? So let's put that to the side. I need some space. Stay. So enough of the moving away from camera. <laughs> so uh, what did I do this week? I published um, my usual videos, of course, and then I worked on all the videos for next week and uh, did some other stuff too. Uh, I do have a list here of things that I can show you because they're already sold or way too big for camera and um, just to not forget. So let's get started. Monday, of course, as always, is Art Journal Day with me and uh, this one was published here and it's my favorite September page in homage to Richard Feynman, the greatest uh, physicist that probably walked the earth, at least in my book. And, and I made him very colorful in my art journal. It was the first page that I did for the September prompt back to school. So um, in the iCards you can see the videos for that. So if you're interested, just hop on over at any point or just check out the playlists on my channel. They're fairly organized so you can find all the different kinds of things I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the Tuesday Tiny Tuesday, of course, tiny, small. And uh, with this one, I did something that I don't do very often, and that is paper piecing. Um, it, I just took different kinds of pattern paper, copic, copic markers, permanent markers, and uh, made this little one. And again, it's a flower. I really seem to be very much inspired by flowers recently. So I promise you next week, it's gonna be something different. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it up, but uh, it was just, uh, I made the last four or five Tiny Tuesdays all in one week originally, so it's been forever since I made that one. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see a theme there. So the Thursday painting doggo challenge one was Speak, this one here. And um, if you haven't seen it, I wasn't sure about the hand once I had finished the video. And um, I do pretty much feel the same way about the painting. So if I would do it all over again, I would leave her just as it is, leave him just as it is, but have the angle a tiny bit different and have, have it painted with the same watercolors and hope that maybe with the colored uh, fingernails that it stands out enough to be the focal point. But yeah, that's actually an L in sign language, so. Yeah, dropping some knowledge on you. Anyways, uh, the Friday painting was not a painting, but a chair. Tada, here's a photo somewhere on the screen. And uh, that one was ordered by a customer together with another one that I'm probably gonna have on the channel in about two weeks, I guess, I hope, I think. Um, so I really like the outcome there, though. Uh, yeah, it's... A lot of fumes in the studio, but don't worry, I had uh, my lodge windows open and the fan going, so the acrylic spray paint didn't stay into, in my studio too long. So no headaches there, don't worry. But that's the one I really like, the um, the colors when the sun is shining on onto the chair, like the warm evening sun, the orangey sun, the, it, it pretty much looks like it's on fire. It's amazing how brilliant the yellow and the orange especially are with the spray paints. So I really liked working on that chair wherever it is on the screen. 
So I didn't do any DLPs, documented life project uh, pieces this week because, well, I've been doing other things, but I painted two paintings that I didn't do any videos for just one night uh, sitting here just drawing, painting, just playing with colors and uh, here they are. They I don't know why I painted them, but well, one I know, but the other, like this one, there's no specific reason behind it. It was pretty much just playing with um, book pages, gesso, ink and uh, watercolor and uh, markers. It's just, you know, just a face. Um, that's what I did. And the other one was actually uh, playing with watercolors and charcoal. And uh, the uh, thing here with the mountains every and everything actually came from the watercolor background. I did have purple, uh, some pinks, some browns here and the blue and once I had it dried it looked like a waterfall to me so I made uh, some mountains around or, or stones, whatever these kinds of things are with um, charcoal just to have a very, well, I don't know, it's, it's a kind of landscape. I don't know the word for what this well, it triggers something. I don't want to say melancholic. It's definitely not realism, but it's it's just a landscape. So I made that, and um, yeah, I will probably not have any DLPs for next week, but hopefully the week after I can catch up or catch up more <laughs> on the um, documented life. So this was my week. I was very busy uh, getting everything ready and scheduled for next week for while I'm uh, on the road. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. Um, and I think that wraps up the video. It's uh, probably long enough with all the uh, showing you what I take on the road for artwork. So I'm uh, very much looking forward to a few days. Um, just relaxing, getting inspired by some other landscapes, drawing, painting, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I will uh, I will show you what kind of artwork I produced on the road next week, Saturday. I hope I produce some. And uh, I will see you then. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, during uh, Until Wednesday, I'm probably not going to... Uh, answer right away it depends on the good internet connection uh, but I will come back to you if you leave a comment there and uh, I will see you tomorrow with the gamers couch Monday with art journal and uh, all the other art videos will follow just as usual so take good care have fun go create have a lovely lovely weekend and uh, do all the good YouTube stuff if you feel like it thumbs up share and subscribe take good care have fun bye bye